motorcycles and ATVs to side-by-sides on electric dirt bikes, few things will get your adrenaline flowing and your heart pounding like power sport machines. On Power Sports Unlimited, we're going to check out some product reviews and product comparisons, as well as take a ride and find out what's hot in the world of power sports. Polaris is a major player with their array of options to choose from in the side-by-side -side category. And Honda's coming on strong too with a line called the SXS Talent. What's crazy is power sport enthusiasts are taking these machines and tricking them out to look like this. Of course, you can't keep all that fun to yourself, so events are put together where they bring out their mud beast to festivals and have a blast. It's crazy fun, but we'll get back to more of that later. One of the hottest trends going right now for deep backwoods adventure cruising, fishing, and hunting is the XTV line of amphibious vehicles from Argo. Now, sure, amphibious vehicles have been around for a while, but Argo has taken it to a whole new level. These six and eight wheel extreme terrain amphibious vehicles can plow through and across virtually anything. Now the Argo Frontier series is available in three six wheel models. The 600 6x6, the 700 6x6, and the 700 Scout 6x6, as well as the eight wheel configuration from the 650 8x8, the 700 8x8, and the 700 Scout 8x8. All Frontier XTVs come standard with a roomy cockpit that's comfortable and easy to board and unboard. Central to its spacious design is a handlebar layout that puts all central controls comfortably in the hands of the driver. This includes start in gear functionality, headlight controls, parking brake, stop switch, and easy to use finger pull throttle. The simple console design also sports an easy to read digital gauge. Projector beam headlights give the Frontier a sleek, up-to-date look. In the engine compartment, you'll find a fully sealed automotive-style wiring harness that ensures long-term electrical system durability. Argo does it right with durable injection-molded seat pans and contoured, high-resilient cushions, making for a comfortable ride on rough terrain. The Frontier 600, 650, and 700 series are powered by high-performance four-cycle twin-cylinder overhead valve, low-vibration engines, made into a thermal-treated acoustic exhaust. The sandwich core under the hood exhaust heat shield ensures quiet, clean, and dependable power. Now, these units are also tricked out with APS Argo Progressive Steering. Working in sync with the transmission, Steering inputs now produce smooth, confidence-inspiring handling. This makes the Frontier as fun to drive as any UTV. Argo takes it to the next level with their 8x8 Aurora XTV series. The Aurora's powerful 850 EFI and 950 EFI high-performance four-stroke twin-cylinder overhead valve engines deliver reliable, durable power on both dry land and when you go fully amphibious. With powerful alternator output available in all units, the Aurora models provide an impressive 50 amps for powering accessories like the worn VRX35 winch. Another clever design that helps to contain the engine heat is how Argo added a heat reflective and absorbent material that is integrated into the firewall. A composite exhaust shroud goes one step further and effectively redirects heat away from the passengers. The Aurora's heavy-duty CVT drive belt effectively drives the Admiral transmission with Argo Progressive Steering APS. This rugged drivetrain reliably conquers the most challenging off-road environments.
The 25-inch tires with 9-inch airlock rims provide a smoother ride and are effective for traversing land and for providing propulsion through the water. New for 2020, the Aurora SXR models come with a fully certified rollover protection system. With push-button start-in gear convenience and finger-pull throttle all in the hands of the driver, all Auroras have a premium digital gauge that's easy to read and the ultra-smooth operating in-dash transmission shifter with high and low gear selection is an easy reach for the driver. The contour molded front bench seating and rear side seats are comfortable for up to six adult occupants and provides plenty of leg room too. In addition to Argos XTV amphibious vehicles, they also have a very impressive line of ATVs. Argo is definitely a power sports contender. Coming up next on Power Sports Unlimited, we're going to check out some motorcycle side-by-side -side comparisons, reviews, the awesome electric e-dirt bike from Segway, and so much more. Stay tuned. This is the Arai story. Three generations in pursuit of the perfect handcrafted helmet. Founded by Hirotaki Arai, a motorcycle enthusiast, today the company is run by his son Michio Arai along with his grandson Aki. Arai remains solely focused on one thing the pursuit of crafting the best possible product for their customers. Not just a family business, but a legacy. Motion Pro. We make innovative tools and products that help you maintain and repair motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs. Like the patented Profil Air Chuck, helping you manage tire air pressure on your motorcycle, ATV, or UTV. Easily adjust the Profil Air Chuck. Get past hot disc brake rotors with the pivoting angled head. Connect it with an airline. Or pair it with a Motion Pro digital tire pressure gauge. Reach for the Profil Air Chuck to manage your tires. Get yours at MotionPro.com or visit Power Sports stores nationwide. Discover the simple joy of motorcycling. Give Janus Motorcycles a call at 574-538-1812 or visit them online at janusmotorcycles.com. Braz 250. The Braz 250 Dual Sport 250cc air-cooled five-speed engine with a comfortable seat height of 34 inches. Order the Braz 250 online for the unbeatable price of just $19.50. Delivered directly to your doorstep. Call 770-662-1898 or visit Braz250.com to get your Braz today. Welcome back to Power Sports Unlimited. the lightest feeling front end bike that I've got. Not by any means. Spitting out dirt. But it is it is a consistent feeling bike now for me. I'm happy with it. And that's really all I can ask. You know, and what I like, you might not like. That's the cool thing about suspension and dirt bikes is just because I like something doesn't mean that you will and vice versa. One of the awesome things about the internet and power sports today is that you can order your dream machine online and have it delivered right to your doorstep. 
This goes for ATVs, side-by-sides, and even motorcycles like this Braz 250. It does take a little mechanical skill to put a bike like this together, but the knowledge you gain about how your motorcycle works and assembles is priceless. When it comes to electric bikes, they can be ordered directly to your home too. They're also a lot easier to assemble, and once you get it ready and take off for the first time, the fun factor is off the hook. The newest in this category is the Segway Dirt E-Bike. Available as the X160 or the X260 in four different colors, these electric dirt bikes are unmatched in this power sport category. The Segway X260 has a phenomenal distance range of roughly 74 miles with a top speed of 46.6 miles per hour. The X160 is slightly less, but still impressive with a roughly 31 mile range and a top speed of 40 MPH. These eco-friendly electric dirt bikes are light and nimble at around 121 pounds, and with torque galore at 184.3 foot-pounds, they'll have you zipping up any of the most challenging mountain trails with ease. The Segway Dirt e-bike features aluminum construction, full suspension design, and takes roughly three hours to recharge fully. Designed with e-swappable battery, the Segway Dirt e-bike can keep you on the trails longer than any other. Check out the Segway Dirt e-bikes for yourself. They're super lightweight with high speed and long range like no other in this category of power sports. Stay tuned, there's more Power Sports Unlimited coming up after this break. Go anywhere is more than a slogan. It's an attitude running deep through Argo's DNA. It's what's behind the legendary reputation we forged for building the world's most enduring, innovative, and reliable line of extreme terrain amphibious vehicles. The all new Argo Frontier. Extreme performance starts here. Motion Pro. We make innovative tools and products that help you maintain and repair motorcycles, ATVs, and UTVs. Like the patented Profil Air Chuck, helping you manage tire air pressure on your motorcycle, ATV, or UTV. Easily adjust the Profil Air Chuck. Get past hot disc brake rotors with the pivoting angled head. Connect it with an airline. Or pair it with a Motion Pro digital tire pressure gauge. Reach for the Profil Air Chuck to manage your tires. Get yours at MotionPro.com or visit Power Sports stores nationwide. This is Power Sports Unlimited. Coat your tube in baby powder before you install it. A tire can actually spin on the rim and mess up your valve stem. This will prevent it. Carry your stand with no hands, pop your kickstarter out, throw it on, or if you have no kickstarter, just put it on your foot peg. If you forgot a stand, use a tie down attached to your truck or your trailer. Super easy way to get grips off, use compressed air. Master link removal and install with a screwdriver and hammer, a couple quick pops, the master link will pop right off. The screwdriver is also handy to pry the remainder of the master link off. Installation, just the opposite, set the clip, and then one quick hit and you should be on. You can also use a needle nose to remove, as well as install the master link. Use a file to remove the dull edges on your foot peg. A sharper foot peg means more grip on the bike. Attach a zip tie to a fork leg. It's important to measure the amount of distance that your forks are traveling so you can understand if you're in the correct spring rate or have the correct clicker settings. As you ride, the zip tie will move down, letting you know how much your fork's actually compressed. 
Here's a quick fix to any type of crack or break in any plastic on your dirt bike. Grab a rag and cleaner, make sure to clean off and free the area from any dirt and grab baking soda and super glue. Now while holding the broken plastic together, apply some super glue directly over the crack and then immediately throw some baking soda on top of it and just blow it off or shake it off and it will instantly form a bond. I do this on both sides and it brings your drying time down to basically just a few seconds and it forms a rock solid bond through the magic of science. When it comes to power sports, it is important to buy the machine that is right for you. And this is especially true when it comes to dirt bikes. There are sometimes no right or wrong answers. There's certainly no like ultimate, this is the only bike or this is the very best bike that you can buy in order to get into this sport. But I do feel comfortable saying that there are some definite bikes to avoid. These are the wrong bikes for you to have. I think the wrong bike for you to get into this sport and, and do exactly what I did, because I did it wrong, is to go out there and buy the biggest motor, the most powerful dirt bike that you can get. I'm talking about the 450 motocross bikes. Those are terrible, terrible bikes to begin with. Any bike that has more displacement than 300 cc's for a beginning dirt bike is probably not a good idea. The best thing that you could do is go out there and buy an affordable, uh, and for some people that might be a new bike, for other people that's gonna be a used bike, but go out there and buy an affordable 125 two-stroke or a 254 stroke. Now, why do I say that? Way too often in as people get into this, they think they need the biggest, the best. They see what the motorcycle, the motocross and the supercross racers are riding and they're thinking, I'm going to get that bike so that I can future proof and so that I don't have to grow out of it because that'll be the only bike. If I buy this one bike, it'll be all I ever need. Well, the problem is you buy that bike, you're going to have way too much motor and you're going to have a bike that you're literally going to, it's going to eat you alive. What we need as beginning dirt bike riders is a bike that isn't going to beat us up and isn't going to eat us for breakfast. Like some guys out there are gonna say, well, Kyle, I'm 300 pounds. What bike do you suggest now? And I say, hey, you can start off with a 252 stroke or even a 300 two stroke. It's not gonna be the end of the world if you do. And those bikes, a 252 stroke or a 300 two stroke is gonna have more than enough power to pull you up all those hills. And you're gonna be able to handle that just because you're a bigger person. I strongly suggest that you start out with either a 125 two stroke or the 250 uh, four stroke. And that's going to save, you're gonna have better habits, it's gonna save you down the road, and the whole dirt biking experience for you is just going to be better because you're gonna be starting off on a solid foundation and not getting your arms ripped off and not getting thrown on your butt like on like a 450 or something like that. So please try to learn from my mistakes. I did it the wrong way. I ended up with a 450 as my first real dirt bike and what a mistake that was. Power Sports Unlimited will be right back. Welcome back to Power Sports Unlimited. In the ATV category, there are more and more innovations and choices every year. Here are some tips on finding what the best ATV choice for you to buy is. So we're gonna talk about three different types of ATVs. You've got your utility machine, you've got your sport quad, and then you've got what I call a hybrid, but it's, it's really a utility sport machine. So it's a mixture of the both. So the utility machine, is, is really the most versatile and quite honestly the majority that riders are gonna have out there, okay? And there, there's a lot of reasons for that. And first of all, gone are the days when a, a utility machine is strictly a utility machine. It's no longer a just to have around the farm machine or just to plow your driveway. And this is really the way I would gear someone towards if they're a new rider. If, you, if you're not really quite sure what you want, there's a good chance you want to start on a utility machine. They're extremely versatile and, and they hold a lot. Speaking of which, just storage in general. If you're set on an ATV and you want storage, you definitely want to go with the utility machine because it's going to automatically provide more storage than the other options. And then the accessories of add-ons for storage you can get are huge. I mean, you can get backrests that come around and you can open them up in the back and shove stuff in. If you want to be comfortable, I mean truly comfortable, if you want to be able to just sit back and enjoy the ride, if you know you're going to have someone riding on the same machine as you a decent amount of the time, not only consider a utility machine, consider looking at a two-up. Moving on, sport quads. Let's talk about sport quads. 
it's really actually very easy to figure out if you want a sports quad or not. Just ask yourself, do I want to go extremely fast? Do I want something that's lightweight? Do I want something that's durable? And do I want something that goes extremely fast? <laughs> All right, no, I know I said that twice, but I really consider the sport quad is like the crotch rocket of the ATV world, right? It's, it's really, it's meant for one thing, ultimately, and that's to go super fast. And you can do that with a lot less cc's. For example, a 400 cc sport quad is going to go much faster than a 400 cc utilities machine. So the sport machines are really meant for, for people that want to race and go fast. All right, so let's talk about my current favorite, at least for now, which is the sport utility machine, or what I call the hybrid. Now, if you want to be able to plow your driveway and then hit the trails and go super fast, this is the machine for you. The hybrid machine is going to provide basically the best of both worlds. Now, if you find yourself thinking, well, that seems like an easy choice and a no-brainer, I'll just get the hybrid or the sport utility machine and now I've got the, the best of it all, right? Yes and no. I, I say yes because it's a combination of the both and it, it really brings a lot to the table, but I also like to say while it's the best of both worlds, it's the greatest of neither. And I realize as I say that out loud how confusing that probably sounds, but what I mean is you'd be hard pressed to find a sport utility machine that's is as comfortable as just an all out utility ATV. Like one final note is that remember a sport quad, the engine size is going to have a lot more pep versus utility machine. For example, a Yamaha Raptor 700 is, is going to have a lot more pep and a lot more speed than say an 800 CC utility machine. All right. So just something to keep in mind. And with that, I hope to see you on the trail. The suspension on the GPX isn't perfect, but even then it dominates everything else in the $5,000 range easily. The GPX flicked through whoops much more like a dirt bike than any stock Japanese dual sport on the market. And that blew my mind because apart from the modern suspension of KTM and Husqvarna and the Beta dual sports, the FSE 250R has better suspension than any other 250 dual sport coming out of Japan. Now that is a bold statement, but just remember that I'm talking about dual sport street legal suspension. Does the suspension on the FSE compare to modern dirt bike suspension from Honda and Yamaha and Suzuki? Not really. Both Gabe and I leveled that its suspension and power is akin to a mid 2000s WR250F, a bike that I own and that I'm very familiar with. This means the suspension does feel a little dated by modern dirt bike standards, but by dual sport standards, it is once again impressive. But there's something to be said for suspension and dual sports. It's a tall order to handle because it's one of those have a cake and eat it too things. You need stiffer suspension off-road and more plush, springy, Cadillac-y suspension on the road. These days, it seems like manufacturers are either making us pay out the nose for the bleeding edge or giving us decades old tech. And it's refreshing to see a company, even if it's from China, fill the gap between the flame snorting $10,000 monsters and the anemic shriveled up dual sport dinosaurs of the late 90s. The GPX FSC 250R isn't perfect and it's not trying to be. What it is, is the best new dual sport $5,000 can buy. And should the dark day come when my beloved DRZ400, the Black Widow, finally dies, a GPX will very likely be the replacement. I just really liked it. Power Sports Unlimited. To find out more, be sure and check out Argo at ArgoXTV.com. From ATVs to 6x6 and 8x8 XTV amphibious vehicles, nothing delivers such a high standard of value, quality, and performance. Segway, the all-new eco-friendly dirt e-bike is light, responsive, and has loads of torque. Check it out and see how you can have this awesome machine delivered right to your home at store.segway.com. <laughs>